This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Diana Williams and Sade Baderanoir and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. Lee, you know, and Sade, you know this very well, great way for some people to relax and to improve their mm -hmm. flexibility. We're talking about yoga, and it could become the next Olympic sport. Lauren Glassberg is here with more. Well, think of it as a more flexible version of gymnastics with maybe a little less bouncing around. There's a growing number of people who think yoga should be part of the Olympics, and they are giving it a competitive edge. This is a very not not that difficult pose it is for me. <laughs> Kyoko Katsura makes it look easy. Can you imagine she's only been doing yoga for five years? As a kid, though, she was a competitive gymnast, so some moves come naturally, and so does the competitive spirit. This year, I won the first place. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, she's first place in New York State when it comes to yoga, and there's a push to turn yoga into an Olympic sport. I think more like 2016 is, is probably realistic. Jen Lobo owns several Bikram yoga studios in New York City. Many of those who enter yoga competitions are Bikram devotees who practice in heated rooms. There's no heat in the competition per se, just a rigorous three-minute set of seven postures, all judged. How difficult those postures are. And then you're also judged by how graceful you go in and come out of the postures. Jared McCann is a three-time New York State champ and says he doesn't compete to compare himself against others. Honestly, I really don't care about, about winning the competition. The, the past two years has just kind of been like uh, me going up there and, and showing my postures to everyone. He's known for his handstands and backbends, and while some would argue competition is all about the physical, Jared says there's more to it. Especially in the competition, I just say, this is, you know, this is for you, God. But bringing judgment to yoga may be counterintuitive, but for those competing, it gives them even more incentive to practice their yoga practice. <laughs> As of now, 16 countries hold yoga competitions. The international competition takes place in February in Los Angeles. And while there is plenty of debate about this from the yoga community itself, there is a little bit of breathing room here because entry into the 2016 games is actually quite unlikely, but there is always 2020. Something would break on me if I tried <laughs> well, any of I couldn't that. Believe she was able to do that. I can, well, wow. I couldn't do that move, but I do a lot of those moves in there. And that's why some say it's a sport, because it is so challenging. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they were good. It's difficult. You have to be strong, flexibility. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Thanks, Mike. Well,